Hello, I haven't made a, I haven't started from the beginning, but I already had a set up, but I'm gonna tell you how to explain this. Well, it's hella simple. This, this thing right here is like right here. Let me take this off real quick. There you go. This right here is connected right here in this radio. This right here is connected right here. But you could remove this, connect this right here. Put it back. And you just put it back. This one right here is supposed to be the radio adapter. So it's like, it's this is like, so it could be able to control the speakers to play music and all that. This one right here is gonna be the, um, yeah, this is the radio adapter. And this one right here is the 4P USB. Just connect it right here. This is the 4P USB. And it's connected to this right here. This is the 4P USB, my bad. This one right here. And it goes all the way down here to this one right here. You connect it right here. This one is supposed to be with this one attached. Since I already showed you how it's supposed to be connected, this was connected right here. So you're just gonna remove it, connect it to this one right here, put this one in the power one, and the little one you put it right here at the very end. Not the very end, but like near it. This one is right here, so it's so you can be able to use the backup camera or the mic. So right now I'm using the mic. I'm gonna put the camera uh, in a bit, but um, the rest you don't need them. Unless if you want the back of camera from your own car, this is an adapter that you can get at Best Buy. It's like I don't know how much it is, but that's like to be able to control everything that you have. But it's like I don't know how much it is to be honest, but that's that's how that's how much I think I think it's near like thirty bucks. But yeah, all you need is to connect this one right here, the radio adapter and the the four P USB. This one right here, and then the power. The power you connect it right here. And it comes with a little paper, how to like where it should go. But the but if you want the GPS, you connect it right here. But it comes with it. Where's it at? There's a GPS right here. But like what I'm trying to tell you, that's like if you really want a navigation without your phone, you could put it on. But I always use my phone like going out. So I this thing comes with CarPlay for Apple. I don't know if it has one for Android, but. I know it does have one for, um, what's it called? For, um, what is it called? For the Android, Android CarPlay. But I'm gonna start connecting with the, with the camera and I'm gonna show you right now. Let me see. So how I, how I explained it, this thing already comes attached with this thing. But with this one, so what you wanna do, the radio is still gonna be connected right here. So you're gonna have to remove it, take it out then take out the the power and everything and connect it to this one have it right here like how i have it laying down just connect everything else and how how i explained it and how i showed in this clip right here it's connected to these right here you're gonna want to remove them and put them right here but not everything gets connect not everything be taken off because these right here you see right here they, they, they don't have the spot to put it on right here so that's how it's gonna be but it's easy and simple and yeah, I'll show you the rest right now. All right, I wasn't able to connect the camera because it was different. Cause this, it, like, like I was saying, you need like a harness, like a different harness that would be able to like be able to control everything on the radio. But the camera that they gave us, it does work. But like, I don't want to drill it in my car. So right now, I'm not gonna put that on. But this is this is the car play. This is my, um, I will play the music, but it's connected to my phone. It's going to turn off the camera. And this is like the map, like where to go to. And this is basically how, let me see. There you go. You could, you could search up like anything right here, gas station. And like right here. This is the JNL market right here, the gas station. And it says it's gonna take me like a, a minute to get there. But let me get out right here. And route. 
and this is the music right here you're able to choose what, mu what music you want you're not able to search what music because the reason why is because this car doesn't let you because you're driving and it doesn't want you to be looking up anything else but it shows you the playlist that you do want to play so even the the phone like the phone calls like it'll, it'll show up i'm not gonna go to my contact but it'll show up and then there's you can swipe and there's like the setting and everything the map the music the iphone the messages the, and then there's the google map i got the chevron app every time i want to go to chevron i just click on here i pay for my gas and that's the spotify if i have spotify this is the home right here That's the, the home play. And I think it has its own music. Yeah, it does. Look. So it works good, but this, this music came with it. So this is the only music that it comes with it. Just so it's like, it's like a test out, like to test out the radio and everything to see if it's working. And it has YouTube. And it does work, but you gotta connect like to your hotspot or something to be able to play it. And to be able to go to like to do the car play when you get it, you go to car settings, and you go set into car, and then you press on um, you press blue to music, and it takes it to connect everything else. This is the AC right here, and then you could just like turn it off and everything turned off. The AC turned off and you press right here it takes you back to like the car play and then let me go to setting again and that's the wrong time that's that's the wrong time as today and what do you mean like the android settings it's right here but since mine is not an android i have an iphone so i just keep it like this i like i like my car play i like I like how it is. And yeah, that's about it. That's, this is what you basically get. And it has YouTube. I don't, I'm not too sure if it does mirror screen like to the phones. Cause I know I see some, I've seen a couple of those, but this one doesn't have it. I don't think so, but I'll find out right now. Let me find out right now. Let me see real quick. Um, brightness, volume, car settings, factory settings, system. Default settings, no. Navigation, oh shit. Let me see real quick, other settings. Nah, oh, let me check real quick. Other settings, screen settings, force. Nah. Now, so it seems like it doesn't have on screen mirror, but all it does is just CarPlay. And it's helpful, I, I like it. I don't know if you guys like it. I don't know if it's worth the money, but I think it's worth of it. I think it's worth it. So, yeah, I like I like how it is. I like better than this thing right here. But the thing, the only thing I don't like is about the camera that it doesn't connect to it. But it's all right. I'm able to deal with it. I know how to reverse. But like, if you don't know how to reverse, you should um buy like the harness. Like I said, there's like a harness in Best Buy that, that they sell for this car. But you gotta search it up because sometimes they don't have it at the store. So you gotta look at where they ha where they might have it, or you could you could order it. But yeah, that's that's all I could explain it to you. It's, it's easy and simple to set up. It's not hard. At, at first it was hard because I was kind of confused. But when when you're about to set this up, take out the battery, not the whole battery. You just need to take off the negative and then the positive. Never take out the positive first. Take the negative first, then it's the positive. And then once you have everything on and set up and you can put the positive back on but you got to put it positive it's opposite now so when you have it off you put it on on positive then you put it on negative and then turn on your car and see your stereo stereo work and, it, and for me it started working ever since that i never had a problem this is the mic right here that i have i, I put it right here sometimes but you know how the ac blow it makes a noise so i just grab it and i talk to them like this or sometimes i just turn off the ac just to be able like to like to like because like, sometimes they can't hear me while talking because of the ac but yeah i think it's a good car the the good radio and i think you should get it it's, it's a 10 out of 10 for me and i like it
It also, do not forget, it comes with instruction. Never throw these away. You could look at this right here, put everything down, and then just like copy it down how I said it in the video. And it's just like three connections that you gotta do. And that's that's it. It's hella easy and simple. You shouldn't be struggling as much, but uh, like I said, it's easy and and not and it's worth it's worth the money. And my that's in my, how that's how I think of it. I don't know how you you guys think about it, but yeah. So that's that's all I can say and explain. And hopefully you guys have a good day with your new radio. At first, when you're gonna take it off, take this thing off. But when you take it off, uh, set up the radio first. Like take off the radio, take this thing off, take off the radio, cause the radio is still connected. And when you take off the radio, um, what you're gonna do is like set up, set up, set it up with this thing. And then if it start working, you could just put the AC, cause the AC is screwed on to this thing right here. And you gotta take it off and connect it right here. And then these, they have like a little plastic right here, but you have to take it off, put it right here so it could be able to click inside. It's easy and simple. Uh, it's not stressful. It's like, like I said, you you should you should be able to do it. And I'll show you right now how it is.